Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back and uh, welcome to the channel. So for those of you that are new to the channel or those of you that have been around a while, um, I have a bunch of cars. And uh, as some of you may know that have a bunch of cars, it's very difficult to enjoy them all. And sometimes it's uh, just one of those things where um, even though we'd love to keep everything and have it forever, sometimes it comes to that point where it's time to just let stuff go. And after a lot of thought, that time for me is now when it comes to the C3 Corvette. So I had asked you guys a couple videos back. For those of you guys that are uh, regulars on my channel, you know that um, I picked this car up from Florida. It was my father's and um, he had a stroke within the past few years and he can't drive anymore. So I picked up this car thinking, you know what? I want to keep it around. You know, my sister asked me to kind of keep it around. And, uh, you know, with nostalgia and everything else about my dad always having this car from when I was a kid, it was something that I was just like, nah, we can't get rid of that yet. And they're not the most valuable cars. I mean, they're not the most needed or wanted. And uh, there was a lot of them produced and they don't make the most horsepower or anything like that. But there is something to be said, especially nowadays, where cars are just not cool anymore. They're not making cool cars and that's up for a debate. So it's a controversial statement on my part to say because some of you guys might be into Teslas or electric cars, that's not me. I am a petrol type guy. I think that gas cars are uh, just so, there's something about them and obviously it's what I grew up with, so that's what I'm into. So it is that time though, this car is really cool. He had it resprayed black. This car was originally a beige car with a tan gut and uh, he had these aftermarket wheels on, which I mean, they're okay, they're nothing crazy. Um, unfortunately the shop that did most of the work ended up keeping the stock wheels. He thought that he wouldn't have any use for them, but some people do want the stock wheels, uh, has the T-tops. He got the mirrored ones. I don't know if this was a factory option or whatnot, but tan interior, like I said, uh, all stock, nothing crazy. This car has got 49,000 original miles on it. It did a lot of sitting in its day. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, original motor has, I think it's an Edelbrock intake, I believe, um, and an Edelbrock throttle body and uh, <laughs> MSD ignition. But other than that, stock. And uh, honestly, the aftermarket parts, oh, it's got a cam in it too, which unfortunately he put in there because uh, it doesn't make the power to warrant having any sort of performance cam. Um, and it's an automatic. So it's gonna be a cool cruiser for somebody. I mean, there are a couple of imperfections here and there. Um, there is a pretty large scratch on this side. Uh, that would probably be relatively easy for a painter to fix. Um, and actually, you know, to be honest with you, this portion of it down this way, eh, no, it's pretty deep all the way across. Unfortunately, the guy who was uh, the caretaker of my dad's property uh, took this out one day um, to just get it started and drive it down the road, uh, scratch it on the garage. <laughs> So other than that, though, there really isn't any other major things. I think there was a little bubbling on the hood somewhere. I don't recall. Uh, but this car is going to need to be detailed anyway. So I'm going to have it detailed and buffed up for the next owner. Uh, he also had the side pipes put on, which wasn't a stock or factory option back then, but still pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so I got to get this thing started. We got to, I'll show you this because this is pretty funny. This is, this is why you don't want to bring your cars to hack job mechanics. And uh, let me see if I can squeeze on in here and show you this right here. Yes, that's right. I don't know if I can. This is somebody's fix to a draw. Uh, that's, their, that's their power switch. Pretty unbelievable that uh, they thought that was a good idea. Um, yeah, so that's like a, a house kill switch. But um, yeah, so other than that, this car is gonna be listed. I think I'm gonna put it up for about 15 grand. Uh, I think just because overall condition, it's in good shape and it runs and drives. A couple things here and there that are I'm gonna try to address and see if it's a major thing. Um, I didn't wanna go crazy 
because I figured either somebody's going to want this either stock or they're going to want to probably take this out and make it a more of a performance vehicle by putting in a crate motor, possibly switching it over to a manual transmission. Who knows? So I'm going to let the next owner worry about that. So as we say goodbye to this car, you know, we're upgrading the Corrado. You know, I put the wheels on. I ordered some 10 millimeter spacers. I actually did the front and the back because even though the front fitment's perfect um, for what I want, I figured, why not? We'll just see how it works if I have them. Worst case scenario, I don't use those. And then we got some other stuff going on. Um, I'm going to get start getting rid of some things, too, that I'm not going to be using. Unfortunately, I decided against using the Team Dynamics Motorsports wheels on the black Integra. And uh, there's good reason for that. The um, black Integra is kind of going underneath the knife as we speak. But these just so happen to be in boxes of a company that we are going to be working with directly going forward. So I'm pretty stoked on that. So stay tuned for those of you who are interested in seeing the time attack stuff. We also got a big announcement on what's gonna be happening with those cars. Because as you know, we have a silver one and a black one. Um, and the silver one, as far as we're getting with it, is probably just not gonna be done in time, unfortunately. So uh, that's it for today. Gonna get this car up and running in the next video probably. Uh, take it out, enjoy it, give my once over on the car kind of tell you guys what my thoughts are on it and uh list it up for sale and hopefully somebody new can enjoy it and uh takes care of it because it's definitely going to be missed and uh it brings back a lot of memories so thanks guys for watching i'll talk to you soon take care for now